Flash Forge is gonna give you $100 to recycle your old 3D printer. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. I'm here in the Edge of Tech studios, proudly powered by STL Flix, and now, STL AI. STL Flix is like the Netflix of 3D printing, and you gotta check it out with the link in the description below. And if you haven't seen STL AI yet, you definitely gotta check that out. It's like a blend of smart AI and sweet models. Put those together in an easy to print model when you're done, and that's what you got. It's super fun and easy to use too. So check it out, links in the description below. But you heard that right. Flash Forge has a promotion going on through the month of August. Hopefully they're gonna extend it because this video is kind of coming late in August, but you can actually trade your old 3D printer in and get $100 towards a brand new one. The best part is they actually pay for shipping as well. Now I know you're asking, what's the catch? Well, the catch is they're actually only putting it towards two of their new 3D printers, not all of them, but it's the Adventurer 5M Pro and the Adventurer 5X, which I actually happen to have here right in front of me to check out. Now it's another core XY design like we've seen so many manufacturers do because it's actually so good and a metal frame that's kind of wide open. Now, the only thing I could see uh, that, that could be a challenge is if you're printing high temp stuff that needs an enclosure. In this case, if you're sticking with your normal stuff, you know, your PLA, PETG, TPU, this is a TPU beast, by the way. It prints TPU so good. Uh, but anyways, if you're printing that kind of stuff, you know, I think you're gonna be just fine. Now the 5X starts with a pretty fast assembly. They say like 10 minutes, but I think it was more like 20 minutes if you include like the unboxing and getting everything out of the package. Now the advertised speed of this one is like 600 millimeters a second with a, an acceleration of like 20,000 millimeters a second. Listen, that's fast, but to be honest, you're probably never gonna hit those speeds in normal day-to-day -day printing. Just know that this thing prints really fast and it's not a slow printer. Now the slicer they used is a reskinned Orca slicer and it works like it should. And the printer itself actually runs off a closed source version of Clipper. Now, a couple things about that. Number one, please just make the thing available on regular Orca Slicer because that would be so much easier for everybody. Uh, it's just better if we just use one. You know, we don't have all these different uh, slicers. But I gotta say, it, it sliced really good. Everything worked really good. I mean, it's Orca Slicer, right? The other thing is, I'm hoping that they open the closed source version of Clipper up. Uh, and I know they've, we've asked them to do that. Multiple people have asked them to do that. Uh, I know right now it's closed, but let's just hope that they actually open it up. That'll be good. That won't affect the printing if they actually open it up, but for anyone out there that's well-versed in Clipper, they would rather have it opened up to be able to do what they want and modify and change things. So, you know what, uh, Flash Forge, open this thing up, will you? Come on. Come on, open it up. Now the build area on the AD5X, that's what this thing is, is 220 by 220 and 220. And that's a little on the smaller side if you're used to, I don't know, like the bamboo printers that are 256 cubed. Um, but if you ask anyone with an A1 Mini, they would tell you that they can do a ton of different builds on that printer. So you're really not gonna have a problem on this one unless you're doing really big stuff. I mean, to be honest, I don't do a ton of stuff that's bigger than this anyway. Uh, so but I don't think the build size is that big of a deal. It's just fine. Now this one can do four colors or materials. As you can see on the side, they're loaded right there. They load up on the right side of the printer. They load into this box right here and then down into a four to one head like you see kind of like in the A1 Mini or the A1 where it kind of goes four to one into the top of the head. That's how it works. It's four colors or four materials, however you want to look at that. And it makes the printer a little bit wider because they're all on one side. But I kind of like having them on one side because then you can kind of line them up accordingly in like your shelves and stuff. So not a bad design. I like that this is modular. If this ever breaks, you could take it off and probably replace it. And everything just kind of combines itself right there on the side of the printer. Other features include the 4.3 inch touchscreen up here, the uh, PEI flex plate, which I showed you earlier, and nozzles that can be quickly uh, changed out. They're super easy to change, just like most of the printers now on the market. Uh, much like like the A1, uh, if you have an A1 or an A1 Mini, that's how this thing is, is pretty fast to change out the nozzle. So uh, if you wanna replace it, you wanna change the size or anything like that, you just replace the nozzle part, not the whole hot end, not the fans, all that stuff. Just that little 
nozzle part and you're good to go. Now let's talk a little bit about the price. The 85X is currently on their site as of filming right now for $399 and there's like a $30 savings going on right now. That would put it at like $369 if uh, you, you caught it right now during the filming of this video. But if you were to trade in a printer using their printer program, that would save you another $100. And it's possible that you could get this printer for like $269. That's a heck of a deal. Uh, even at $299, that'd be a great price if that $30 goes away. But uh, you know what? $269, $299 would be a very good price for this printer right here. It's fast. It does four colors. And it's definitely something to consider if you're looking for a printer in this style, right? Um, and it doesn't need to be enclosed, but prints four colors or four materials, etc. So definitely one for the running to check out. And if you can get it at 269 or, or 299, definitely that would be a good deal. Now it's time to talk a little bit about the prints that I did on this printer. Um, spoiler alert, Derek, as you expect for a printer like this, they're good. It was fast. Each of them uh, didn't take a ton of time and they came out really good. The first one I did was, of course, the Benchy and it had to be in uh, four colors. So it, it turned out really good. Everything looks really good on this Benchy and uh, as you can see, the color swaps did really good. They blended together good and a great job on a Benchy. This thing was, I mean, four colors. What, what more could you ask for, you know? Now, the next thing I did was on the SD card and it was uh, the Orca Slicer like cube thing. Uh, they did, it printed in multiple colors. It has a thread at the bottom that does work right off of the build plate. Um, everything looks pretty good. Uh, the colors look fine. Everything looked like it should and uh, it, it was pretty fast. So nice work on that too. Uh, the next thing was this little guy right here. Now I believe it's like a, a obviously it's a fish, right? Uh, I don't know what kind of fish, but it was on the SD card. It printed in uh, like four colors as well. Um, I just chose the colors that I had loaded and, and let it fly. So there was really no rhyme or reason to the coloring of this thing, except for that's the colors that I had. It flexes really good, it, it moves like it should, and but overall, pretty good print as well. Boop. Moving on with what's on the SD card and showing you uh, what came on it <laughs> was was this uh, Orca Slicer, looks like a tentacle right there, like a, like a headphone holder kind of thing. Um, it, it printed the colors here and you can see the coloring and the tentacles and the white on the base. Everything came out really good. It looks good. Um, there is a little bit of blue uh, around the inside. Whatever, however they sliced this, I don't think the walls are thick enough or they were using blue or something to flush in the inside there and you can kind of see it in the base there. Uh, it's kind of there too on the cube, um, but I'm not sure if it's just how they sliced it or what, but overall the print quality looks very good uh, for what this was. So nice work. Next up, I wanted to do something a little different, so I jumped onto Thangs. I went over to Nico Industries page and I grabbed the Super Battle Droid kit card, and that's what you see here. Um, I may have made the mistake of using supports on it. Um, it looks good. Maybe not. I'll just have to peel these parts out and give it a try. But uh, I wanted to keep it together so you could kind of see what it looked like as it came off the printer, and it came out really good. It, the prints look fine. Looks like they're going to go together just fine. But I love the look of these kit cards. Uh, just seeing them <laughs> makes me happy. Makes me think of models when I was younger. And I just, you know, you just pop them off and put them together. But Nico Industries does an amazing job. Check them out on uh, Thangs and find all the different uh, droids out there that you could possibly want. This one I just ended up doing in that shiny blue uh, metal PLA um, that I was using. Uh, came out really good. And overall, uh, very good for this printer. Now, overall, this wasn't like a quick review or anything of this printer. I just wanted to highlight it because it's one of the printers that you can get a discount on right now on the FlashForge website just by sending your old broken down 3D printer over to them. Uh, you get a hundred bucks. I know you have to go through the process. You got to qualify. Um, then they give you everything you need to go from there. There's a page, a link in the description below where you can actually go uh, try to get your old printers sent back to FlashForge. Again, they pay for the shipping, which is really cool. And uh, yeah, so this thing was, I mean, it was fun to use. It's been great. I think I'm going to throw it in my fleet and we're going to keep using it. Um, 
overall, if you're looking for a printer like this, like I mentioned earlier, not a bad printer to look at. Uh, it does poop, just so you know. Um, it definitely does poop. I just kind of been throwing all my waste in this box, but it definitely does poop. And uh, in some cases, it, it's a little much. I'm hoping they can dial that down a little bit. But, uh, you know, overall, it's like any other multicolor right now that's not a tool head. It is going to poop and you're going to get a lot of poop when you start doing multicolor stuff. So that's not different than anything else out there, though. So honestly, hopefully you can dial that down a little in a slicer or maybe they can dial it down for the purge that they use on this um, to save you a little bit of material that way as well. Um, there was little uh, towers with each print as well. So you can see them right there. There you go. And it wasn't too big a deal, but overall that's what you get with multicolor non-tool head printers anyway. So par for the course, nice work FlashForge. So let me know in the comments what you think of this printer. Again, this is the FlashForge Adventure uh, 5X, um, AD5X is the, the abbreviations for it. And what do you think of their program? Giving you some money back for those old printers you're probably not using anymore to get you into a newer one at a lower price. So let me know. I'd love to hear what you think of, uh, you know, in the comments below. So definitely put those comments down there. Um, honestly, budget wise, probably one of the better ones I tested this year as far as budget wise go. If you can get this for 269, pff, I mean, that's a great printer for 269. So definitely check out the recycling program. And if you're looking for other budget printers, stay tuned to the channel. We have some really cool stuff coming. And as always, don't forget to check this one out right here. That was a, a really good one. Definitely check, check that out. <laughs>